about class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. Thank you, B-Rad. I'm hoping that it gets relatively okay quality, but, uh, I mean, the game in general, it actually does look okay. For you. Okay. Hold X to sprint quickly and, ta uh, to sprint. Okay. Blip on your map indicates mission objective. Head to the yellow dot and approach the X. Let me see. Change the sensitivity a little bit here. There's cheats? I don't think we should put the cheats on. Yeah, so I got this to work via something called PS Now. I just tried a seven-day trial of it, but we might end up getting it. I can't use my mouse and keyboard, but... Just plug the controller in. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Quite the stop. How's it going? I sure hope the You ain't gonna find 30 of horses and these in all of New Austin. Looks pretty sturdy, sturdy to me. I ain't much of a fella for Yeah. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rush. Come on. Woo there. To spur your horse and move faster, tap X. If you hold X, you'll maintain its current speed. Okay. Okay, okay. L1 to... Oh, R1. Really? Oh, okay. That's right! Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Okay. When you ride close to Companion, you can hold X at maximum speed. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine <laughs> as cream gravy they are. <laughs> Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? 
cream's gravy. Two crows. Fine as cream gravy. Yeah. So it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Lee Johnson. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. That's right, it's none of your business, partner. Who the hell you think you're speaking to? You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Yeah. There's things yeah. you better off not. You don't look much like no blackboarder fella. That's because I ain't. Well, I'm being honest. I don't care much for those high flute and big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions. But no, me neither. I just fly off the cliff there. I mean, knowing me, I've, I very well might. We're doing okay, though. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Hey, you wind him up like a clock. Damn this <laughs> thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Like I'll tell guy. you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Huh? Fort. Hey! Whoa. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Fort Mercer. Come on. Came a long way for this. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, yes. please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! Alright, no you got more the Dutch! Gun. And no more you. Where's my gun? Implore you. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Oh. <laughs> Poor John. 
and that's the game, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Rest in peace. Wait. The game might not be over. Oh, uh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're safe. New friends, old problems. Hey, mission accomplished. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. Couldn't stop me. So, how do you feel? Kidding me? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. I'm down for fun. Course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. Not I'll bear that in mind. I'm ready to kill everybody. Oh, yeah. Axe, thank you for the tack nuke as well, man. Welcome back. To the stream. It's not over today. Alright, let's join Bonnie. Oh, howdy. Well, howdy, mister. It doesn't look like I have stamina. Back in the land of the living, I see. Yes, Figured man. it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Bishop. When am I playing some more Tarkov? It's been a while, dude. I don't know when we're gonna play it again. Hold circle to focus on There's places the and events. There's the foreman's office. Huh? It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right I now, Mr. Farley. Hello. I picked out a fine horse for you. Oh, another horse. What happened to my other one? Come on, ah, then. Who cares? I'll show you oh, I got some moves. You see that? Yeah. We played some like a week or two ago. It was fun. is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. 
Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Found the right spot. You get better horses throughout the game? Oh, nice. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. <laughs> now, where'd you get such an idea? Come on, First Bonnie. impressions are hard to erase. Train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes okay. things better. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Whoa. Yeah. And here we provided. are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. Yes, you get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. How do you do, sir? Bonnie, hell out of the way, woman. I gotta go to the X. Aren't you paying attention? Only place to be. Yo, Waylon. Thank you for the tip, man. <sighs> Don't drop on a fort with just a, a pistol. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Seriously. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. All right. Yo, McGreasy, also thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. Oh, I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. They're putting it in the right hands. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. I read that this game could take, like, if you just follow the main storyline, it's like 15-hour playthrough. Does that sound about right? I'm just going to focus on all the main stuff and play through it, see what the campaign is like, main story. Let's that go. Was fun. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Now I'm going to be doing Thank the shoot. Thank you, Mr. Marston. You gave me a real I rifle. feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger <laughs> itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Nice starry night. I hope we don't run into any hostile rocks, Greasy. Especially with the horse. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Oh, okay. Stop in here. I'm with you, girl. I know what I'm doing. Bonnie, we've let's talked go. about this already. Is it not square to hitch? I thought it was square. Where's jump? L2, draw your current weapon. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay, we got crouch. Good shot. Goodbye. Better at shooting rabbits than outlaws, I see. All right, this is pretty easy. I'm going to be able to do this. Marston, looks like we'll be having rabbit stew tomorrow. Got you, girl. Now back up. We should check out the rest of the ranch. Triangle gets me down off of it. 
squares jump. Just kind of, kind of feels a little weird. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. But whatever works. It's wabbit season. Nightmare mode is hella fun too. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes are back! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston. Yo, can I shoot while I'm on this? Oh, hell I'm yeah! Your money. Nice shot! Get your ass over here, coyote. Easy. Hurry! I bet they're going straight for the chicken coop. Go! Four of them, woman. What are you talking about? Okay, so we're not shooting rabbits here. No? Get the hell off that chicken. Come on! Come on! Oh, reload. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, you reload fast. It's a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. Hi. Yar, maybe. Wait, what game are we playing? Uh, McGreasy. Thank you, dude. Yeah, Sally's uh, you know, you got the afternoon off. You can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Alright, now are you gonna actually let me hitch here, or are we gonna freaking jump over the house again? And we're gonna jump over the house again. There you go. Got your the help, Winnie. Mr. All that practice with the Makes Winnie's paying off. Happy I saved your life. Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. I was talking to some Blackwater fellows last night. Seems kind of snooty. A beautiful sleeps for six hours. <clears throat> you can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Okay. General stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory allow you to buy weapons, restock ammo, and purchase potent whatnot. Kind of oh, you can change outfits? Cool. Big in Save the game. Good or bad. Some people Hello, even deal in valuable information about the surroundings in forms of maps or newspapers. There's a change of Okay. Armadillo is where we started. We're at Hennigan's Steed now. I guess. Bonnie McFarlane. Wow, this is a pretty big map. Wow. Dope. Goodbye. Bye now. Cow Grand Theft Auto. Exactly. That's what we're playing today. So I guess just saving the game. Yes. You gonna fall in love with this game? I hope so, man. Go to B on your map and speak with Bonnie Far. Alright, Bonnie. What should we name our horse, chat? Does he have a name? Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, 
on, easy up now. <laughs> Somebody said to name it Acolyte. <laughs> Nightmare. Dust. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Oh, we're going for a race. Okay, Bonnie. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Come on, boy. Yeah. Whoa. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! I don't exactly know no, what no I'm doing. At all, Ms. McFarland. Come. Okay, so if I tap X, I go faster. Okay, but if I tap X too much, this then it goes gonna red. Be close. Oh, okay, it's recharged the blue bar on the left. Let's go! Okay. I'm off-roading, Chad. I'm gonna do a backflip. Off this next Try jump. To keep up, will ya? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. See you at the finish line. I thought you said you could ride. Yeah. Sniffing her horse's ass. I think my horse is uh, defective. Isn't this jolly? I'm kind of just following her, which is the problem. You'll have to do better than that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, horsey. Who's a good boy? You want to get a carrot? Easy. Trying to get a problem with your face. Come on. Come on, Mr. Marston. This sure beats milk and cows. Go. Yeah, get out of here. How you like my Let's go! The forts of ripping, huh? Just for you behind me now! Get out of here! What do you get out of here? Boxing you out, lady! Let's Bonnie, go, get the hell out of 
here. God damn. Did I piss my horse off too much? Did I just lose? Bro, did I just lose? That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I don't even know. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. <laughs> yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Oh, I was spamming X so hard the horse kicked me off right before the end, I think. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Plus 20 fame, I'll take it. And pro tip, don't spam X that hard. Fell at the end. Unbelievable, dude. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Marshall, actually. Or whoever. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. I didn't mean to talk to Would you. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Just shows that I still can't drive in this either, chat. Still can't drive in this either. And it sounds like Bonnie's got me going to Arma... Armadillo here. Um, I think I might have been supposed to talk to the other guy. What exactly are you waiting for? But we'll just keep our uh, love better, story going. Considering with you were her. almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, Miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, Miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately <laughs> obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I'm starting to like Bonnie a little more. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for don't us less and more, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Let's go. Friend zone? You, you never got did friend tell zone me where there? you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. How do I reverse? It. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Well, hello there. All right, Bonnie. I have to do this crab out of 40 feet. Just finished helping a patient. How can I help? Hey, Doc. Hello there. Finally come to get that bullet out of your leg. Goodbye now. Thanks. Try to behave yes. yourself now. <clears throat> I told him I wasn't buying anything. Hey, Doc. Well, thanks for driving.
driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. If you want to leave Armadillo, there's usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind a freight station. Plus 50 honor. I paid for new horseshoes, but got old. Why, well, hello there. Really? Where do you have Chat's saying I should go play poker, but. Maybe the scab herders. I don't think we're going to do that right now. Just let the government. I think we're just going to head why back to the stagecoach. Well, you can ride, mister. We got to talk to this guy, actually. Wait, right? Marshall Johnson. No, we got to talk to Marshall Johnson. Zoom out. Yeah, Marshall's over here. Okay, so we did have to go there. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go talk to Marshall Johnson. Man, this really is like GTA. To the saloon! You Get those it, drinks! <laughs> Should we throw some back, chat? Turn this into a real party. How many of you guys have played this game before? Poker is available to play at a number of locations. Wow, you guys were serious. Never doubted you. Excuse me. You can get drunk and pass out. Hey, you got a visitor. Like Marshall. Jeez, Marshall. Shut up, you! <laughs> now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. John Marston. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <laughs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. I don't know. <laughs> Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. Dickhead. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. 
Whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. <laughs> it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. Uh, all right. Tell I'll you take what. Take another shot there. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Let's head over to the saloon. Dragbow, thank you for the tip, man. All that practice with the Winchester's about to pay off? That's what I'm thinking. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Also Goddamn Dave Productions. road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. The saloon. Yeah, I'll look forward to it, man. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Purple Panda, also Marston. welcome back. Walton's our man. Whistle for the horse. Damn, he's seen it. As long as it's come alive, on, the horse will come him. to you. Any time that you whistle for it. Oh, he's a good boy. Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. Come on. I'm with you, dog. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Yeah, I because can that ain't how the law works. Oh, okay, is okay. That right, Marshall. And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Oh, dear. Up, Marston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. So we're not gonna kill him. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. You said take him down. Are you supposed to be outlaws. Get to that crate. I got okay. you covered. O is to reload. There we go. Looks like it reconnected. Sorry about that, Chad. Peek me. That's what I thought. Later, son. 
guy's way faster at reloading. Oh, you can loot the body too. Goodbye. Okay, I don't know how to do that, but. What am I, what am I supposed to do? Ain't got me yet, old man. Oh, Screw it. I kind of preferred him to swing, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. Listen, you didn't tell me what button to push to capture him, so it's just time I blow his head off. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marson. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> Shoot him in the leg and lasso. Marson. Okay, chat. How come he didn't teach me how to la- I didn't know I even had a lasso! Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's okay. See, I just need you guys to give me the tutorial. Forget these guys. I just made 20 bucks. Maybe I don't even have a lasso. Right? Fist. Peter Carbine. I got a knife. Maybe I could have shanked him. In your inventory? How? You have an inventory? Oh, lordy. I didn't mean to click that. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. I mean, I'm gonna take it. Shoot him in the nuts. That'll probably... That might kill him. I don't know. Probably wish he was dead at that point. What the fuck? You don't have a lasso? Oh my gosh, chat. Are you guys just trolling me right now? Is that my horse running away? I think that's my horse running away. You've discovered the Walton gang's outfit. Oh. Why well, you'd be treated like their gang? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need your horse. Oh, he's already gone. <laughs> After battle, you can search the fallen bodies for cash, extra ammo, and consumables. Oh, okay. You can save the game anywhere in the wilderness. Choose the camp item from your satchel to put a camp and save. Oh, it's got 25 bucks. Bad deeds are noted by the populace. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't just kill people randomly and take their stuff. To the victor, the sport. Oh yeah, whistle for your horse. You guys are beautiful. Chat, have I told you that you're beautiful yet today? Alright, we're not gonna loot all these things. I think this guy is down here somewhere though. Maybe the guy took his body. Dude, look at the wildlife. Oh no, here it is. That's it. Alright, come here, horsey. Yeah, Wes, this is my first time playing the game. Lasso him. Come on. <laughs> That's not a thing, chat. You guys are ridiculous. All right. Um, let's go back to town, I guess. Maybe back to Marshall Johnson. There really is a lasso? Okay. I mean, I would think. It made sense to me. Yeah. You know? But we'll see. 
We'll just have to play and see, chat. Look at this. Look at this pro tip. Eventually it leads to you getting bucked off the horse. We learned that the hard way. You can quick travel? Filter black clear waypoint. Movie house. Well, I don't see how to quick travel. Maybe I don't have that yet. Go. Somebody Save the treasure hunter? Screw the treasure hunter, dude. I gotta go talk to the marshal. Yo, you have to campfire to fast travel. All right, let's see if we can figure that out, actually. Because I read something about the campfire earlier. Um, okay. Let's hop off the horse. War horse, medicine, and the consumables. Kit, we can make a campfire. You can fast travel to any... Guys... I freaking love you. Uh, otherwise, you can place a waypoint anywhere in the territory map and then travel the nearest road. Okay, so... Travel to a destination. Oh, there goes a big boy. You can fast travel to your waypoint. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, we're pretty close at this point, so it doesn't really matter. But let's just do it just to see. If we can go to the ranch. Go to the waypoint. Sweet. B is the lasso. I don't think there's a B button. I mean, I don't play PlayStation that often, but I'm just joking, dude. It's okay. Calm down. Uh, after you get the lasso from Bonnie, you don't have to mess with her for a bit. A lasso is needed. I mean, we got a budding relationship, me and Bonnie, right now. Chat thinks I'm friend zone, but I don't think it's over yet. Where is Strangers found throughout the world that are in need of assistance are marked with a question mark. Keep crying, lady. We're following the story. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Bollard twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. <laughs> All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Oh, yeah. He's just a Bear boy! Way. Is this my horse? Come on! How long have you been working for the government, Mark? 
Marston. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigil? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight left son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Remember down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Nearly there. Yeehaw. All right. Leave the horses here and follow me. Ooh, now. All right, Marshal. Where are we going? Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. All right, we'll Music shoot them in the leg and see ears, if that works. Marshal. See if that lets us take them alive. I don't know. I mean, they're still gonna have a gun in their hand, theoretically, so they can still shoot us. Just smoke them. Damn! Those bastards were waiting oh, for Oh, hey, yo, Serpentine, boys, Serpentine. <laughs> Goodbye, Ed. Is that an enemy right there? No, it's not. I'll go right. Marston, you can go with the deputies or cover me. Look, over there. Stay with the group, Marston. Don't going? think you'll be needing this. Discovered the twins' outfit. Let's hope this goes as well as last time. Treated as a gang in Hennigan's Steed. Whatever that said. Eyes up, boy! Behind that rock! I already smoked that guy, didn't I? I gotta say, the gun gunplay in this is pretty awesome. That's why! You better surrender! You hear? Alright, come on, Marston. Let's okay. push on. Legging him didn't do anything, You ain't Chad. gonna win this! Come on! The deputies are making some ground over there. You can fart man money with a knife. The knife game? Don't leave yourself open. It's okay, I'll just hit on him. Good shooting, boy. Oh my god. Stand in my way, Marshal. Not trying to smoke you. Tell the ballers to give themselves up. Main leaders, you can. Come okay. On. Pull foot, Marston. Thank you, Chad. Put down your guns and surrender. You got one. There's one more for the vultures. I forget controller vibration. I love it. Nice shot. I do miss that when I play on PC. Oh, shoot. Your gun down, friend. I need it more than you now. I don't think that was the main guy. Mm -hmm. Make sure you loot. Okay, I'll try and be better with it. A lot of stuff has to do with the money in it.
Can I loot these little boxes too or no? Don't look like it. Let's go, Marston! I think I got both the chests. Let's go. Be careful. I think I spotted some snipers. Look out! There are them snipers! Where? Oh my good god! What's the bearing? What's the bearing? Oh jeez, I'm gonna die. Is that him? It's so blurry, I can't even see. Hit twice. Knocked out. Knocked him out, Marshall. I knocked him out. Come on, Marston. I can't take them all by myself. I can hear more gunshots. Shots, Quick, let's go help my deputy. Yeah, listen, Marshall. I don't think your deputies are all with it. Got a decent shot, though. We'll give him that. We got your back, boy. Freaking help me, Marshall! Hey, shooting, boys. Come on, okay. I could loot those guys back there, but we're just gonna keep going. Yeah, we'll go get the last spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. Think your shots that good? Oh, you can change the shoulder in. Some of them hide next to explosives? Ooh, okay. I'm technically playing this on the PlayStation. It's using something called PlayStation Now or something. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. That was a lot of people yes, killed. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Cons housewives <laughs> out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable <laughs> people. Come on, Eli. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, when we getting some chicken dinner over here?
Philly Young dropping a Moab Madness. This game's amazing. Hey, glad you enjoyed, dude. Hope you enjoy the playthrough if you hang out with me as we go through what it. We got here? I like it so far, man. I like the whole uh, the setting of this. I didn't know I didn't know what to expect coming into this. I didn't watch any footage of it. Is that my total money or is that how much I'm getting? Like that Yeah, that must be my total money. I just got 11 from that chest. Yeah, yeah, I got 14 from that. Okay, okay. There's a couple more bodies over here that I wanted to go loot. Maybe I already looted it. Alright, I think we're good then. I think we got the chests. Um, Stranger Movie House. <clears throat> Could go back to Bonnie, I guess, or Nigel West Dickens. I think Nigel's our boy. Let's go there. Go to Bonnie? Okay, chat. You guys are saying Bonnie. Hands down. We're going to Bonnie. Lasso? Oh, do you get the lasso from her? Oh, hell yeah, chat. You can't set up a town, settlement, or gang Come on. hideout. What? How do I get off again? Oh, yeah, just trying to. Stop jumping. Oh, it's probably because we're in a in the thing. Yeah, buddy, Bonnie, we are on our way, girl. Don't you forget about me, boo. I'm like, should I be taking other people's horse? Like, should I take that horse? You think? Kind of like my horse. No, he's been he's been a good boy. Map looks like it wants me to go this way. Can't camp in a hideout. Slow down. Do some stunts with a horse? I mean, I am known for my stunts. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I gotta chill the horse out right now. It's getting mad. We're close enough to Bonnie's. We don't need the campfire anyways. McFarland's Ranch. Come on. The longer you keep the Satan horse, the better it rides. about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. 
call me Bonnie. All right, Bonnie. Miss McFarland, <laughs> I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was, sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. <laughs> Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Yo, Flaud, thank you for the tip, man. He said keep an eye out for the X's. The gray X's after a fight, you can loot those bodies. Fantastic, man. Appreciate it. Let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Oh, Ooh. I can herd some cattle. Yeah. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Out of the way. I'm herding cattle. Oh. Careful! You're more of a I'm hindrance than a help. cattle over here. Get behind the herd. That should start the movement in the right direction. Assuming they are oh, Let's go. Come on, lady. Come on, boys. He's got it. Stay behind them, Mr. Martin. Nice job, Mr. Martin. Thanks, guys. Come on! Drive them down the road, Mr. Marston! Listen, horse. There we go, perfect. Whoa there! Get right at them! Run! Come on! Easily 
showing up in the top 10 plays. Let's go. Just showing off now. Yeah, nail it down. Do we gotta get these guys back with the other ones there, or do we gotta rally all of them now? Oh, we gotta rally all of them. Oh boy, we're increasing the herd. Yeah. This is what I like here, and I get over there. Great, Mr. Marston. Stay with him. Keep that herd together now. Come on. Keep the moving. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Cow. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll was see you cow. later. I have work to do back at the range. Wait, are you calling me a cow? Whoa. Bonnie? Five bucks. Five bucks, chat. All right. Let's keep on with Bonnie. Maybe she'll give us that last one. Come on! Love the music. I I completely agree. Come back after 6 p.m. today. What's this guy shooting at? I probably shouldn't kill him. We want to keep a good reputation. Um, well, let's go take a nap, I guess. I think this one's my house, right? You can join in on games of horseshoes. Oh my gosh. You'll believe anything I say because Join us I'm for white. a game, friend. I don't believe one word. Us poker? Oh, I think, was this my house? Hello. No, this is the store. Well, hello there. I hear you. This stuff is for sale, but I'll take them. Howdy, friend. All genuine stuff here. Well, hello there. A Mexican named Reyes or something made a... Thank you. ...lasted five hours, I heard. Well, I hope you're leaving satisfied one way or another. Greenhouse on the map. Whoa. I thought I was closer to Bonnie, but I don't doubt your chat. Hello to you. I know better. Beautiful. Hello. If Drew McFarlane doesn't move with the times, he's gonna lose that ring. We could change our outfit too. Just like GTA? Gentleman's attire? That is there. No thanks. Wow, there's a lot of outfits. All right, Bonnie. Hello. Well, excuse me. I Hello. I'm gonna take the off. From the X there, and a moon. You can now help the ranch hands patrol. Not interested. Maybe later. Come back after 6 p.m. It's friggin' midnight. What? 
Dude, is it is it really midnight right now? Is it like 12.01 and we just missed it this day? Follow Charlie. Play Undead He's a good Nightmare. One to sniff out trouble. I don't know. Man. Stick next to the dog, mister. Search the area with the dog for disturbances. Ooh, you good boy. Stop all crime you encounter by me. Any means Sorry, necessary. Mister. All right, partner. Go to sleep again. That's what I'm thinking. Let's just do this because this wasn't popped up earlier. It's just because it's nighttime. Wait, is the dog... I, I, th I was following the dog. Am I supposed to be following the... Why would I follow a dog, right, though? Or does it sniff out crime? Okay, looks like I am following the dog. Okay. <laughs> what do I know? Jet, what up? Red Dead Redemption is one of my favorite games. Ten times better with friends online? Alright, I'm starting to get over this dog already. We might just go take some naps. Yep. All right, dog. I'm over it. Oh, wait. That was the general store. I don't know if you could just abandon quests this way, but... See my first time, mister. You ready to die? Don't look like it. I'm gonna fill you... Non-lethal, it said. Okay. I like my way better. Hey, we got something. Dog just freaking wrecked that guy. Actually, I don't need you, horse. I thought I they were going to run. This. I like this game. Yeah. Bear's losing his mind right now. He's jealous that I'm playing with another dog, I guess. Well, I we are uh, great at vanquishing crime. And crime. Oh, let me just check something. Hello. I'll be right back, chat. Okay. Hold down the fort, cowboy. Got our reward. Stop the crime. For both people. We just kill both of them. It's always a solution.
Gotta watch the general store. Whoops. <laughs> nope. No, oh, thank you. Um, how did we see? Okay, now it's Monday. I don't. I guess. It's gotta be 8 a.m. right now, right? It can't be 8 p.m. We gotta go. We gotta freaking go to bed again, don't we? It's gonna tell me it needs to be 6 p.m. Nope, worked. Whatever works, bro. That's all I care about. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarlane. Drew. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. He's got a nice mustache. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. <clears throat> Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. Jeez. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. Beat her in a race. <laughs> <laughs> they all think I'm city dwellers, chat. I'm starting to think I am. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Lasso. Let's see if we can put that new lasso... Let me just check the settings real quick. I forgot to do this earlier. Subtitles on. Close to good you. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just but enjoy the ride? I know we're ride? only as free as they say we are. 
Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Easy. This isn't what I meant by horse breaking. Let's go. Yeah, see, now we got the last one. Take this one back to the ranch. Oh, see you yeah. later. Come on then. Let's yeah. see if you can get another one. Come on, rope one of them. Break easily. Come on, that's perfect range. That's it. Lead with them. I got you now. There. Whoa! Relax now. Oh, I'm going into my own horse. Almost got you. Easy there. Come on, baby. Relax now. Nearly there. Wrangling horses out here. Come on, Bonnie. Let's go. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. A life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in busting Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. No problem. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. We both you got must have been sass. quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, all hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And 
<laughs> my brother left. Matt the cowboy was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Come on! In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. Slow it up, now. Pretty amazing, I gotta say. This game. How old it is? Not that old. Come on! Come on! That's the canyon there. Come on, pony. Whoa there. I got you now. Put you in a Barbie playset. Easy there. Come on, baby. Calm there down. There we go, there we go. Oh. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Come on, horse. You gonna come with us? Thanks That's for one of the fastest today, horses. Marcy. Keep it. We got some fine horses. You know. Okay. Why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal.
Horse is herded. Come plus on. six. Plus 150 honor. We're becoming quite the honorable bunch, chat. Damn. Yeah, this is fast. Do I need to do anything to keep them? Easy. Or is it just mine now? Be a crime lord? Uh, not right now. Maybe when we finish the game. Just start killing everybody. Go hitch him? Okay. Um, we could stop at Armadillo and then go down to uh, Nigel West Dickens. That's kind of where I think... We should go next. We can go hitch the horse down here, and then go check out Nigel. We'll see what see what that fuss is all about. Yeah. Hitch him and then buy a saddle. Done and done, chat. Yeah. Hopefully, I can afford it. I mean, we've killed quite a few people at this point. So I think we'll be able to. And now, I don't actually have property here yet, I don't think. That's what I assume the vacant property is. But let's see if it'll let me hitch it. Cool. He bless you. Hello. Has to be at your house, Good chat you. says. All right, well, let's Keep check the store while we're mister. here. Holy See if they sell a saddle here. Where the hell we get one? Hey, Bill Grub. Hey, mister. I keep foreign and Jewish-made goods out of my store. Help our American families. These are really expensive stuff. Property's 50 bucks. Just show me what you got. I don't have anything, dude. My products are of the finest quality. Improved campfire. Naturally, nobody wants to carry Thank you. All the best. Yeah, just use the campfire. You don't need property. You don't need to buy a saddle either. Rabbit's foot's worth it? What does rabbit's foot do? It's just luck. That's lucky, right? Does it actually give you luck in the game? It looked like it was pretty cheap, actually. How are you, mister? You won't find anything Jewish made in this establishment, sir. Makes you lucky. You increase the items and money you loot by 20%. That seems hella worth it. A fine choice. That's freaking amazing. The only reason to do this job is the free food she get down at the horse. My gosh, this guy. If you're out, Damn, you don't don't be quick. But raise your heart. Come. I think we're going to go down and do this next quest chat. I have like the two basic guns that I started with, but that's it. Let's go. Come on, easy up now. What's up, James? This has been pretty fun so far. I like the premise of this. The uh, main reason that I wanted to do this was because Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out later this year. And I never played this one, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. I did not know what to expect. I didn't even know it was an open world like this. This is awesome.
You need a 22 shot repeater? Not a pose. Maybe after this one, we'll have enough money to buy it. Come on. Yeah, I assume these herbs or whatever that we're passing, you can loot. Probably kill the animals, loot them. Sell some of the stuff to uh, the store. Let's go. That's my guess. But we're okay. Whoa. Come on. Kind of just want to follow Excuse the me. story for the most part. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck a fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? <laughs> I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> you look pretty good this for guy, a corpse. This guy, here. Please be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. <laughs> I'm coming home. This guy, dude. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Doug the vehicle Ford. wasn't even knocked Just over. Just sit anything. up straight, will you? Was he wasted or something? Looks fine to me. Head for Armadillo, friend! What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter <laughs> in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, man. The Pollard twins, Walton's gang. I know who you are. I got. Oh, I come geez. back and finish me off. Oh, you got this let's fast track this you know what i mean where are we going we're going there okay let's just go straight to the dot show please drive carefully every eh, chill like out old man stop your moaning old man you'll be fine where are they all coming from what the hell happened to tell you they're all Bandits, going to hell hoodlums the scoundrels robbed and we're not even left me to die I can see that. So Once much again, I'm a victim of my own success. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! West Dickens seems to be not doing very well, dude. Is it because I'm too rough on the road? I put up quite a fight, though. I can tell you. Hostile yeah, rock! It looks like they've really got the mess. I gonna die. Oh, God. Okay. Turns out, I gotta be a little smoother on the road. He takes damage off-road, I think. Seems like it's a man. To Armadillo! Godspeed! He didn't take any shots. Not on my watch. What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Who looks? The scoundrels dropped me trying to left me to die! Yeah, see, he's taking damage I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they no were? Shortcuts. No idea. Uh, I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. Good lord! Oh really? Well, who the hell's shooting at us, Grandpa? It? For the love of God, stick to the road! Excellent work, sir. Push on to Armadillo. Please, there's no time to lose. 
Listen, the rocks are hostile. I knew you, Grandpa. Come. But I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. Your delirious are playing dumb, friend. Fate brought you to my aid. Why else are you helping me? Look at you. Somebody needed to. I've been in a similar state myself not so long ago. Perilous times. Perilous times indeed. Give people freedom and they turn into Bro, savages soon enough. A lot of for a man who's dying, you sure got a lot to say for yourself. Please! Yeah! Let's keep moving! The word is my sword, sir. Without it, I'm lost. Naked. Abandoned. Why don't you put that sword back in its sheath? They're still coming! Drive off road. He takes damage when I do. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. I'm not a straight enough driver to stay on the road the whole time. I knew you'd come. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. You're delirious and playing dumb, friend. Fate brought you to my aid. Why else are you helping me? Look Will. at you. Somebody needed to. This is playing I've been Red for Dead. Myself not so long ago. Red Dead. They're back. Well, I great memories, y'all. Thanks for tuning in, man. Dude, honestly, those guys aren't doing anything. It's my driving that's killing them. I'm just gonna forget them. Where the in. devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're hey, a gentleman. Hey, horse? A, Dude, that's a good idea. A true man of honor. Think of that. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> We're going up in honor, boys. Come back tomorrow between 5 and 10. Okay. We also have the martial quests, looks like. That's not too far. We can do this one in the meantime. Good to see. Let's see if Sheriff's got anything new for us to do. <clears throat> I'm enjoying it so far. Ah, Mark, love the game. That you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits. 
We're getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. Jeez. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? Hell yeah. All right. It's my kind of mission. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Yeah, I never played it, Michael. I had a friend that played it. I remember seeing some of the gameplay at his house, but... Hey, wait up! <laughs> this guy, dude. Never He's just it. a boy! Come on! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, Let's I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he <laughs> was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. The horses. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Winchester repeater. Can we loot them? Probably not in good taste, right? Come on! You can hold L1. Oh, scroll through available weapons with that. Ah. Repeater carbine, Winchester repeater. Listen! I'm doing something! I'm learning how to play! Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. All right, boys. Let's move it out. How are the McFarland? They're holding on, but that ranch is in trouble. Yeah, with the rest of the problem? For now, yes. But that ain't enough. They got greater <laughs> forces working against them. The Winnie Repeater takes green beans. It does make sense. We got it. Dude, this horse is... Oh, okay. My horse is super fast, man. You guys were right about this. I gotta stay with him, though. All right, all right, all right. Come on! Company Marshall Johnson. All right, let's go. Stay together. Girl, you was riding herd on a while back, Eli. You know, the one with the face like a dive bag of dog meat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Man is. I can believe it. Whoa, she was a good woman. She was a strong woman. The kind you want around when your wagon is stuck, oh that's gosh. for sure. <laughs> she was better than that smoke from the saloon you was shacked up with. Oh, for Christ's sake, shut up. We got a gang of murdering bandits on the loose, and you two are bickering about crap. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Got it. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Okay. No dicking Go. around. We gotta stick with Marshal. See if they know anything. 
What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just bored playing me. I think it's this land that makes the men. Really like this gun. Hope the other way around. The play through, Tommy. Born, and then they're four. At least that's how I see it. At least once a week, I'm playing. Who could have done business. such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more vultures up ahead. All right, let's go check it out. Investigate the area. dead body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitch! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how Ridgewood you dress it up. Farm. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Deserted. Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Let's go. Shed's clear, Marshal. Come on. Music Come on, get a little easy creepy. Be boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Holy jeez. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. The wheel, though. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> All right, boys. We need to get into that house right now. You got a problem with me? so bad with this. My God! All right, let's see. Probably the sun fighting. Damn you! Oh, L1, here we go. All right, let's try this weird Peter out. Get out of the damn way. This way. Oh my god, this guy, I can't I cannot get through this door right there. Good God! You and me, 
we're gonna have ourselves fun. Oh, that guy just did it. Waiting for you in the Damn, shadow. I just wrecked him. Make a run for it when it's clear. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Hell. Oh, you can loot this. Go big or go home, baby. We got the we got the Winchester indoors. What the heck was that about? Did he not find what? I like how we're helping these guys, but I'm trying to rob them. Hey, we found some ammo though. I ain't mad about it. Stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Uh -oh. Everybody, take cover! In that shed! They're whiffing their shots here. Someone get these boys an ADAX. Get ready, boys. Here they come. Oh, what up? I want to go loot him, but I might got some of that Dean Arrow. 
Chief has got a lot of kills. Oh. Oh yeah, I gotta shoot the horse. Oh, oh whatever. Wow, the the auto aim is pretty nuts. Goodbye, gentlemen. You killed me. What hey, happened? Oh. Look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. <laughs> nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. You. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Fifty bucks. Let's see how much loot these guys had, though. We killed a lot of people. Come on, money. Yeah, I haven't skinned any animals. We haven't killed any animals yet. Don't want PETA on our ass over here. Love the late night stream. Thanks for tuning in, man. Uncle Frank with the tip. Undead Nightmare was amazing, too. Riding a burning zombie horse. Jeez, dude. Well, looks like we did that. Oh my gosh. Alright, well maybe we'll check that out too, Undead Nightmare. Over there. I've seen something. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see what you got. Alright, I think that's all the horse bells. Let's do one more. Um, what what should we do next, chat? Should we just go to bed and then go talk to um, this guy tomorrow, Dickens? I mean, we just saved his snake snake oil ass. Might be good, or we could go back to Bonnie, I guess, right now. I'm thinking we go here. Who's that there? Who are you? What? What are you doing? What's going on? Horse pills make your horse faster? Oh, okay. Makes sense to me, I guess. Um, choo choo train. Oh, rabbit's foot. I guess we just keep it. Whatever. Campfire. Dead Eye is a slow mo badass mode. I don't think we have that yet. Got my waypoint set. I do. Yeah, it's not out on PC per se. I'm playing it through PlayStation. Okay. Braxton. Sounds good. We're going to do one more mission. Good to see you. Five to ten PM. We gotta go to bed. Um But we don't have a house here actually. Let me 
sleep by campfire? Can we make time go forward that way? Sell the skin? Okay. Jack, you want to go to the saloon? The more headshots you get, the faster it builds up. Okay. Hold on. Let me switch over this kit. Campfire. Oh, you can't use campfire in towns. Of course you can't. I'm a goof. I'm a goof. Can rent a room at the saloon. Oh, my gosh, bro. What the hell are you doing? Ew. Glad to be a service to the oldest profession. <laughs> to the oldest profession. Oh my god. Interesting friend. Alright. Oh, this is the poker table. Is this a saloon though? Looks like it is. How you do? Greetings. Black water just keeps on. My mistake, mister. A man like you needs a woman like me. Hope you are well. Yeah. Give me some bourbon. Well, hello there. Great. Well, hello. There goes my money. Armadillo is still a great time. Spot that name. Uh, Duckology. Hello. Appreciate the tip, dude. Greetings. Hello, sir. Push both analog sticks down. You can Jeff lock onto targets with it. Loving the streams Lord. today. Thanks for tuning in, dude. The Lord is gone. Much obliged. Listen, I th Not thought so I could rent fast, a room for me. That's why I talked to you. I need to get me some of that scalp. Only with him for the money. Sir, you don't can say. I trouble you for a bottle of Aragon? Purchase? Day, oh, 50 bucks? Like Do we really want our this to be our place? I don't even know if there's any other option. I I I'm in a world of my own. <laughs> Alright, let's just purchase this. Screw it. Rick your jar. I ain't hey. Well, it's been a pleasure talking. Uh, I gotta be on my way. Yeah, hey, Cam. Yeah, this works. Might as well just buy it. We'll use it at some point, I'm sure, for other things like this. Yeah, you have it for the remainder of the game. That's fine. All right, next day. See if he's up. Glad you're enjoying it. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. 
but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heals all ailments. All right, all right. Very oh, nice. man. Let's see if this stuff really works. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I am out too, John. Put weed in the week. Raining. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens my thousands of happy customers attest to that. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress done. Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! Now it takes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I dare that was a pioneer in the field ups in medical research. You seem to be mistaking me for an idiot. I thought it cures all known ailments, that I can guarantee you. But for the sake of argument, even if it didn't, surely there is still value in giving a person the belief they can feel better. Is that not, after all, the first faith has its own view. So you're God now? <laughs> we live in progressive times, John. The spirit of free enterprise must be embraced. Except it's not free. <laughs> Price on solace, on peace of mind. I sell hope, God. I sell dreams. Is that not what this country was built on? You sell shit. The buyer maketh the market, my boy. I am merely an agent, a third man. I provide a desired product at a fair price. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. See you shortly. And remember, showmanship! Go to the West Dickens show. Can't wait for the second game, Brad. That's why I wanted to start playing this. This is why I wanted to play through it. So I knew some context, knew some backstory. Friends, hardworking souls of Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, irate, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, <laughs> sore chests, swelling of the throat, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> Can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by taking a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent topic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. 
Your eyesight is greatly improved. Is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's <laughs> right, it is. You heard him. <laughs> what a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Dude, I can't even see it. Where, where was it? I'm not even kidding. Is this? Come on! Do not keep the crowd is waiting. Is it this? Remarkable! Okay. The eyesight of an eagle. <laughs> Granted by imbibing Dr. I Westerkin's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try to shoot my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. Right. Should I do the... I'm going to try the mode. I don't know if it's going to work. Get ready. He's about to throw it. Nope, doesn't seem to. I thought we was here to see here. Do not write him off yet. He's still do you need dead eye for this? I don't have dead eye. You want to try that again, sharp shooter? Come on then. Derek Lowry, thank you for the five, dude, with the Facebook Steady tip. Hope you enjoy the red stranger. Okay, press oh, R3 oh. while your weapon is drawn to activate Deadeye. Ah, well, Do not write him off yet. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. Hope you enjoy Red Dead. It's one of my favorite games. All the time. Looking forward to streaming more of it. On, yeah, then. buddy. All right. Right then. Use R. What is R3? The it's right click, right? That tonic is a shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with you. I had to be aimed down sight for it to use. Otherwise, it goes behind me. <laughs> we got it. I'm learning, chat. I'm learning. Here it comes. Ready for this? Easy peasy, baby. See? That's how to get Such an eye. Behold the power of elixir. Looked out of the sky. Hey, First hey. shot. What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? They don't work like that around here. Come on. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean brawl. You want to throw me no friend? Tell me where you want it. You sure you're a man? Ho -ho! Oh, hell yeah. You've got some nerve, mister. Come back. You have nothing to fear. There it is, skeptics and dissenters. Irrefutable poop. Do not let this opportunity pass I gotta get some of that tonic IRL. Look, he's over there. Go get it. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Goodbye. Oh, shit! I was just supposed to do that. Okay. Just nailed him, dude. What was I supposed to do? Use that eye to disarm him. Okay, that's a good idea to do too. I guess. Oh, Marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. <laughs> Just blasted him, dude. Oh. Too funny. Okay. Okay. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad I like that I know. This is nice. Chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. 
Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend Seth. Uh, you can come across this a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's buried devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> Plus 25 fame, chat. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's that. Seth was the next guy for part of this quest, or we could go back to Bonnie. Um, but I think we're going to end it there for today. Cool first uh, first look at the game, I gotta say. I I did not know what to expect at all. And that was a lot of fun. Something a little bit different, switching the game up. Hope you guys enjoyed tuning in. We will be back at, at least once a week I want to be playing this game. I don't have set times. Um, my, my, maybe we'll do Wild West Wednesdays. Play some more of this on Wednesdays. And uh, play through play through the game. Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't come out until, like, October, I think, of this year. So we got plenty of time, but uh, I kind of want to play more. We will be back tomorrow for another stream. 1 p.m. Pacific. Likely we're going to be playing some uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, as we usually do. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. That's for this one. This is Stellman64. Over and out. Also, Unlikely Hero. I missed this one earlier. Thank you for the tip. When did Hello Kitty Island Adventure get a horse update? 